welcome back. So today we're going to do this really fun lime salt tequila theme that um, I found. I had this, this decal from Alana's gift shop like last year, but I have had it in my, and so I had it in my little basket and I was like, I am going to use this. Um, I'm going to do this and I'm going to figure it out. So what I found was on Creative Fabrica, I found some limes and I found a salt shaker and I was like, I'm going to make something really cool and put all this together. And we are going to have a collage of something that is going to make this super cute. So as you can see, I tamed off the rim one more time, just so that you know, I always make sure that I keep that spray paint out of the inside of the tumbler there. I spray painted this completely white, and then I went in with green apple and spray painted just a kind of an ombre from the top and from the bottom. And after that, I of course let it dry. I put some epoxy on there. And then we're going in with, this is Goddess from uh, Bougie Gladier Boutique and it is so cool the way that it looks like the center of a lime. I just love the way that it had this like shift to it a little bit. It was kind of purpley greeny, you know, whatever. Anyways, I think it, it turned out awesome for the center of this, this tumbler. And then this one I'm going in with Tree Frog. It is a really bright neon green and I just kind of covered the bottom and just kind of let it fall down a little bit into the other and then I took limeade and I put did that going in from tree frog into goddess and that really allowed for beautiful blending and you just you cannot tell when one color starts and the other stops so I really love the way that this whole coloring turned out because it really looks like a lime so then I let that cure um, for, I don't even know, many hours or maybe even um, later that day or something like that. I usually, when I'm doing the epoxy and the glitter methods, I'm usually not in a huge hurry. That, that kind of sits off to the side. And then once I feel like it's dry enough or cured enough, um, I go in with this crystallite glitter glue. And I, I really can't say enough about this. Um, you want to be sure not to put too much. I have in the past, you know, whatever, I probably will in the future, put a little too much. And it does have a tendency to kind of clump up a little bit. So just be careful when you are putting this on, you know, your brush gets really kind of loaded up with it. So just be aware or kind of scrape some of it off, kind of brush it off in the end. Uh, make sure that you get it out of the top of the tumbler too because it will get up it will kind of fall into the tumbler on the in the inside there and so i just kind of take my finger and just you know scrape it off so then um I, that needs to dry like two or three hours something like that i usually do that like at a time when i just kind of I, I put it on there and then I let it sit for like overnight or later on the day when I am coming back in my office to do some work because um, I just I just don't want to risk you know putting this on too early because it will make your epoxy too milky you know or make your epoxy milky looking and you don't want that so I went in first with the center just to make sure I knew that it was sealed but just as a precaution I just went in with the the white first you know that center part and then I went out to the green just to kind of keep the glitter from moving too much but once I saw that it wasn't moving very much I just went all over and this filer I I have had it from since almost the very beginning of doing tumblers and I've never had to do anything to it or buy a new one or anything and it is just so awesome to take down those real spiky pointy pieces that whenever the glitter just it just stands straight out from the cup and it just makes sanding 10 times easier when you just take that file and you just knock that off the sanding becomes you know it's just so much easier to to, to sand them afterwards so I use this box cutter that I've had 
probably since the very beginning of making cups and it is very dull and I do break and break off the pieces every once in a while but I mean I use them so long and for for so long that they're so dull well I just scrap I just <laughs> scraped my whole hand it slipped down and went down and that's how dull they are because I didn't even get a cut and I was checking like oh my gosh am I bleeding no no I'm not bleeding everything's fine but it does help knock off that top rim and just make sure that you get you know all those chunky bits of glue or epoxy or glitter or whatever even if it's dull this in this instance it doesn't really matter i would never cut vinyl with it because it would be a disaster but just to scrape out all of that um, glue and epoxy it works out perfect so i went into google docs and um, if y'all are interested in knowing how i put all this together let me know and i can make a quick little one side you know kind of uh, a tutorial that I can put into my group and then y'all can just go in there and find it but I took all these little limes they're kind of like a watercolor drawn lime and um, they were all they were kind of a little bit different size a little bit different in their character their dots and their their shades and stuff like that so I just took a few and I brought them into Google Docs and I put one on top of the other on top of the other and one in front of the other behind the other and then I took these salt shakers that this salt shaker that I that I found I found this one has like a SVG that you can use it just like black lines and you know make like a salt shaker or this one is like an actual picture of a salt shaker and I, I put them kind of behind the limes and in front of the limes and that kind of thing because I wanted this whole don't be if you're gonna be salty bring the tequila I just I wanted the salt I wanted the lime I, I really wanted to play I wanted to lean all the way in to this amazing you know whole you know vibe of the tequila and the salt and the limes and that kind of thing and so that's why I put all of these limes together and then I brought in those salt shakers because I just I just really wanted just a subtle you know hint of all of that at the bottom and at the top and so I I'm cut two I put made two of these um, they're basically the same thing it's just one is going this way and one's going that way but I printed them on the water slide paper and I had a little bit of issues because this was a pint glass so it was not a straight you know all the way around and so I had a little bit of trouble but I sealed this up really good because I was able to push and pull and tug and and all of that so if you do a really good seal, um, clear gloss, Rust-Oleum spray, you will not have any issues with, you know, really having to maneuver these water slides. Now this one, I didn't have that big of a problem. I don't know why the bottom, maybe I just got used to it after doing the bottom, but I actually did pretty well on the top one. Um, I it like I said it was these are these this isn't a straight up and down so I did get you know excess on the top uh, that I did end up cutting off uh, once I got it you know all on there because it kind of went from one side to the other but it was going up 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 and down 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 and that kind of thing so um, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute I I will just let this happen and not talk you to death on this. <laughs> So once those um, dried and were ready to go, I put a coat of epoxy over them because I wanted to be able to put this 
decal on there with no issues I didn't want anything pulling up anything else and um, I just I wanted to make sure that it was standing on top of all those limes and those salt shakers so I went in and I put a coat of epoxy over the decal after uh, after I had put a coat of epoxy over the water slides when those were dry and I'm going in with pure grace from bougie glitter boutique and it is like a a pearly white not I don't want to say it's matte but it's more pearly it doesn't have like a huge amount of sparkle but it it to to be salt on a rim it is absolutely perfect and then once that cures I cured I sanded it put on another coat or two of epoxy depending on how many I think I needed <laughs> And that was it. That's This is our whole look. It's so dang cute. It's so subtle, but yet just every little aspect of it screams lime and tequila and salt. And the colors from Bougie are absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm in love. I love it. I actually gave it to a swap friend of mine um, at our Tumblr Con thing. And she it was totally perfect for her. Please join my group. Uh, links down below, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.